racing in Atlanta, Georgia. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Cosmats Race Recap. Let's get right into the 20th race of the season at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Seeing how this was going to be the last race at this track until it gets reconfigured and repaved, I knew today's race was going to be awesome. The front row to start today's race was hometown favorite Chase Elliott and Kyle Busch. The start, of course, was great, with Chase Elliott getting a great launch on the start, driving away from the rest of the field with four wide racing behind him. Chase Elliott conceded the lead to Kyle Busch on lap 14 of the race. Kyle Busch driving away from Chase Elliott. After some great side-by-side -side racing in stage one, we had the competition caution on lap 26. All the leaders coming down pit road to make some much needed adjustments and put on four fresh Goodyear tires. With such an abrasive surface at Atlanta Motor Speedway, every time that there was going to be a caution, we knew that the leaders were gonna put on four fresh tires. Chaos immediately struck as we head back to green after the competition caution with the 99 and the 47 of Ricky Stenhouse getting together, bringing out a caution, hitting the wall pretty hard, ending both their days pretty early on lap 32 of the race. Jumping right to the end of stage one, it was the Bush brothers battling for the stage win. Kyle Bush being able to hold off his older brother Kurt for the stage win his fourth of the season. Stage two kicks off with Kurt Busch leading the field to green after winning the race off of pit road. The restart of course was awesome with the top line really showing its dominance, Kurt Busch being able to hold on to the lead. With Kurt Busch leading, it seemed like there was a much more intense battle for second place as Alex Bowman and Kyle Busch fought over that position. As we made our way to green flag pit stops in stage two. With weather in the area, we knew that these green flag pit stops were certainly going to be interesting. Kurt Busch retaking the lead after green flag pit stops cycle through. With Kyle Busch remaining in second, Alex Bowman in third with 20 laps left to go in the stage. This time it was Kurt Busch being able to hold on to the stage win, outracing his younger brother Kyle. It was going to be interesting to see which Busch brother would be able to seal the deal and get the race win in stage three. Unfortunately, before stage three could start, the race had to be held under a red flag as some asphalt on the rough and torn up Atlanta Motor Speedway track came up. The track crew doing an amazing job repatching it as there was only a red flag for about 20 or so minutes. It's a good thing that they are repaving this track for next year. Stage three kicked off, of course, with its normal chaos. Kurt Busch being able to hold on to the lead as we jump right to green flag pit stops in stage three with about 50 laps left to go in the race. Kyle Busch being able to take the lead on this round of green flag pit stops as they cycled through, pitting a lap earlier than his brother, which gave him about a second lead. With 25 laps left to go, Kurt Busch was able to make the pass on his brother, retaking the lead, thanks to a little help from his teammate, Ross Chastain, who was on the very tail end of the lead lap. With about 10 laps left to go, this battle for the lead was certainly not over. Kyle Busch trying as hard as he could to run back down his brother. Unfortunately, it seemed like he used up his car trying to run him down. Kurt Busch being able to hold on for the race win, locking himself into the playoffs, getting his first win of the season. I must say, it was awesome to see Kurt Busch get this win, holding off his brother. It's going to certainly be an interesting family dinner this weekend. Well, guys, that was it for a very entertaining Atlanta Motor Speedway race. Certainly a great way to end this historic track before it gets reconfigured and repaved next year. Let me know what was your favorite part about the race. Always like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you for a Monday Night Raw recap on Tuesday. Peace out.